number five on Overwatch. All right. Too much macro for that guy. <laughs> All right, at the bottom right is the blue Zerg. We do have Dragon, and at the top left, as the yellow Protoss, will be the Sakwe. Yeah, and let's remember, it's 3-1 Dragon. That means that he only needs one more win. Uh, yes, indeed. It is, uh, it is still match point for Dragon. But we have seen the fighting spirit from the Sakwe. <laughs> Yeah, unfortunately this is a different map, Overwatch, so... Well, let's see how that goes. I, I have to say though, the last game from the Sakwe, he looked really, really strong. Like, there was there was almost no time that I felt that he was about to lose the game. That He basically controlled almost everything correctly. He yeah. could have just lost like one or two next side to like to a few cracklings and he barely kept them alive yes but overall like the execution was well he didn't commit to a bad fight most of the time unless he was pretty much forced to it yeah yeah i, I think the only real mistake um that i that i remember from that game is uh trying to take that six o'clock base and spending too much time there um you know where he ended up not getting the base after all but even yeah. while he was doing that he did a really good job of denying the three o'clock so even though he couldn't take a base he made sure the zerg also couldn't take a base so he wasn't actually falling behind from that uh just probably not you know getting as ahead as he could have been but otherwise i think yeah definitely Tsaku was showing some really good control i loved his control at the three o'clock where he kept pulling the ultras down the ramp yeah killing them at the bottom of the ramp while they were all stuck and like storing them from the low ground that was really really nice yeah Imagine how good that game would have gone if he had like two Dark Arkans. <laughs> I'm getting no, 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 no. Do not distract him. Desakwe, <laughs> play standard. No Arbiters, no Dark Archons, all right? Just the normal units. Let's just play it normally. All right, no, no funny business. Let's not try to be too fancy. <laughs> well, he's doing the pylon block already, so he's being slightly fancy. And six Zerglings, so... Okay, he's getting the cannon before the Nexus, thank god. Yep, that's, uh... Two oh, he's cannons. getting two cannons before Nexus, alright. I think that's smart. Okay, that means he's definitely gonna try and block this out. No! He didn't block the six, that would've been huge. Oh, yeah. I, I guess, to be fair, he had to cancel the pylon of that, also. Okay, yeah. would've been taken. But, um... Alright, go for the two cannons, that's alright, that's cool. I really, I'm really interested, to actually, to see how this plays out, because... You know, split map on a two-player map is a lot less uh, involved than like a four-player map. You can get to that state pretty quickly uh, without you know going too crazy in which bases you have to decide to take. Um, so we'll see if it goes to late game near how it goes. You know, I'm I'm kind of afraid for uh, Lancer X though because on Fighting Spirit he showed that he understood exactly how the map operated. Except as you mentioned, the six o'clock, he was actually controlling the bases on the previous games. He was trying to play differently, and if that is because he has a lot of experience on Fighting Spirit, and on this map, he doesn't have that much experience, he might try to go for the play that he's mostly been playing this series. Recalls? <laughs> Maybe not recalls, but basically trying to be very aggressive, like in the mid yeah, game, instead yeah. of trying to do, you know, expand drops and things like this. It, it, it's the first time that he tried that, and that yielded a very, very high success. Yeah, uh, I, I know what you mean. Um, I guess we'll see here. Uh, I mean, I guess, you know what, I, I actually kind of, in a way, like two-player maps, just for the reason that the Zerg can't, you know, get another natural, do the SimCity. Like, this, this third base has two entrances. Uh, they're both wide ramps, so you can do a bit of SimCity here, but it just gives a little bit more variety, like, it gives you more options to play. Um, yeah. And it means, you know, the Zerg has to try something different here. So we'll see what Dragon does uh, when he can't play the, his, his macro style. There's another thing about that, because even if you can get the SimCity in here, usually it's worth it because you also get the fourth. But in this case, you're SimCity for just this base. Yes, so exactly. Take, exactly. So if you want to take a fourth, what do you do? Uh, you SimCity the fourth as well? No, usually you try to make more units. You, you try to defend everything with units, and that allows the Protoss to be a lot more aggressive. Yep, that's exactly right. So, fast four base is pretty much not possible uh, on this map. Is this probe stuck? Uh, is that... Let's see. 
Oh, that's interesting. Whoa! <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh huh, that's cool. Alright, that's good. <laughs> I would have been really tilted if he just had a slug probe this early in the game. You know, uh, that probe could have been like, it, he might actually wanted to block it so that he could, uh, well, actually it would have gone down from the bottom, right? Uh, or below the core? No, the mineral's blocking, right? You could only go from the top. Well, maybe. Isn't it? I don't know, whatever. Apparently that's not tight. But, but look at those buildings though. The, the bottom of the Stargate is pretty much touching the Cybernate score, and you're telling me that's not probe tight? Oh my god, Brewdor, man. I don't understand. It's not as bad as the Citadel, though. The Citadel is like the worst unit, or the worst building for blocking. Because the left side doesn't actually block anything. Like, if you. Like, I'm pretty sure Vultures can go between the core and the Citadel right now. <laughs> it's just the worst thing ever. You just cannot block with a Citadel. Well, luckily, you would normally never block with a Citadel or with a Stargate, so. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> anyway. Oh, we actually have the second gas already. Is he. Oh. No, he's got a Hydra Den. He's not going for Muse or anything. That's interesting. He's got the second gas before getting an additional hatchery. Maybe that's uh, drops or early or lurkers because he yeah. is getting speed for uh, overloads already. I want to say it's for lurkers. It's interesting. Anyway, a couple of zones gonna come down here. Not gonna do anything at the six o'clock base. Hmm. I think it can be both. I think it can. Be, you could be going for lurkers or you could be. Okay, so he's getting range for the uh, hydra, so that's not gonna be lurkers. Uh, I guess it could still be later lurkers. Oh yeah. Well. You can you can use the hydras to put early pressure and, and force the play. the first back. Yeah, and then either contain with the lurkers or you know scare scare him with the hydras and then sneak the lurkers in the back or something something cheeky. Yep. Uh, uh, anyway, you, hydra bus. Oh, one overlord. Wow, that's actually two overlords dead. Big supply block now for dragon. Yeah, supply blocks dragon. So a hydra bus is going to be much weaker from this point on. And oh, look at all those cannons. He knows. He yep. knows it's scary. But what is the scary thing? It is a drop! It's a drop. Um, oh man. And he's built all the cannons at the front. He's gonna have nothing in the main. He is building... He has the Templar Archives. If he researched Storm right now... Oh, but he's only got one gateway. Oh man. Yeah, he's gonna have... It's not gonna be enough units. Even if he gets perfect storms, it's just not gonna be enough units at the end. This is gonna be game. Oh, but he's still killing Overlords though. If he can just keep killing Overlords... He killed three Actually, Overlords now. Yeah, you're right. I mean... You're not. If you, you, you drop with two overlords, okay, that's good. But if you're supply blocked and you can't make any more units, then he, he he needs to see what's happening because he 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 should see he should go into the main, see that there's a lair, and be like, this cannot be a normal hydra all in. Like it doesn't make any sense. Why would you go for a lair if you're going for a hydra all in? It has. To, there's nothing else that can be except yeah, exactly. like a a, a, a hydra or a lurker drop. Oh, well, at the end of. The is killing actually the third, so if this oh God. Hydra drop doesn't work, the Sackway should take this game. He's moving is... the first, and Storm is being researched, but I think the drop... Drop is actually relatively slow to get researched, so Storm might be finished. But it's almost is, done, though. It's yeah, almost it's done. Energy. He needs... These horses need to come back right now and kill the yeah. overlords before they get in. They're not. They're not gonna. Does, does the Sakui not realize what's happening? He doesn't. He doesn't realize what's happening. He, does, he doesn't. He thinks it's just a front bust. Yeah. Oh I my guess. god. The Sakui. Why would there be a lair if it was a front bust? It doesn't even make sense. Why would there be a lair? Why would he ignore the third base and not it's attack? No, but it's gonna be too late. Oh my god. The Sakui, my man. It doesn't even make sense. Wait, one DT. He kills the overlords, and one DT. That's it. Yeah, but how can he kill overlords? There's too many oh, there's too more. Uh, hydras now. Yeah, and the high temple is gonna <laughs> die, and that's gonna be. Oh god, the Sockway, dude! Come on, man! Not like this! Not like this! No! Not like this! Damn it. Well, I gotta hand it to Dragon. He switched it up once, and it worked. <laughs> Oh no! Oh god! After that amazing macro game last game, GG! GG! 
Desakwe types out, and Dragon is our champion, ladies and gentlemen. Congratulations to Dragon. Really, really well sir. With a 4 1 victory over Desakwe here in the final, Dragon takes home the $800 grand prize. Huge congrats to him. And I mean, tech, it's a. Damn. It was a Zerg winning, but he's a Protoss, all right? It still counts. It counts as Protoss. It's a hybrid. It's a hybrid. That, that's <laughs> so good. Oh, my God. Uh, I, wait. So, I got it right. 4-1. Did you say 4-1 for a dragon? Yeah. Nice. Wait, what did I... Oh, I said 4-2. Oh, my God, you're a genius. <laughs> and you said Koge would win, too, didn't you? Yeah, but I I changed later on to the three to a three one. <laughs> yeah, but it's okay though. You got the winner right. Yeah. Oh man. All right. Um, and huge congratulations as well though to the soccer for getting second place. He will take home four hundred dollars. Yeah. So uh, that's uh, that's pretty sweet. And of course, huge thanks to our sponsor Russ Brain for the two thousand dollar prize pool donation. That was amazing, dude. Thank you. That without him, we would not have got to watch these insane games. So, yeah. uh, so if anyone sees him around, tell him he's awesome. And thank you to all the viewers. And before you guys start tuning out, because I'm sure people are trying to close the stream already, we are going to have a winner's interview with Dragon right now, live on the stream, I think. <clears throat> if, uh, if he will respond on Skype. <clears throat> Dragon, Dragon, Paige and Dragon. Paige and Dragon, Dragon. Paige. We require a Dragon in the Skype. <laughs> um... Yeah, and then we can we can ask him some questions like, "How do you feel about arbiters?" <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I, I I think about arbiters. I think we could ask him how did he feel about the 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 two proxy gates in game one. Yes, I I also want to know if what Draw said was true, where Draw was like he told Dragon it would happen. Yeah. Damn. Because not only that, look, first game he gets, like, the only game that Dragon lost was in Fighting Spirit. And it's not really that Dragon <laughs> played worse. Because Dragon was still playing really, really good. The Cyclone yeah. managed that game amazingly. But apart from that, Dragon understood pretty much every map and he got everything clean. So, whew. Yes, indeed. All right. Let I mean, me... to be honest, he is also a Protoss, so he knows a lot about how to how to play against Protoss. Oh, that's a good point, actually. I don't know. Uh, we didn't really talk about that too much during the game, did we? Um... I mean, he, we mentioned it like in a previous uh, cast, I think, but no, not not this one. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let me get Dragon in here. All right, we are waiting on Dragon. We are waiting on our champion. Bum, bum, right. bum. Dragon, dragon. Aging dragon, dragon, Come please. On. We need, Come on, Dragon. We need to promise dragon him like a trophy or something. Do we need to pro promise him some fangirls or something? <laughs> like on the terror stream? <laughs> exactly. Dragon, <laughs> if you come for the interview, we'll give you fangirls or a trophy. Oh, man. Dude, he's out. He's out celebrating already. I mean, to, to be honest, I wouldn't be surprised, right? Dude, he's he's hitting up the clubs, you know, showing off his uh, TLS Championship trophy. Yeah, I mean, well, actually, he he probably didn't get it yet, so he probably have to link graph, like, you know, on his smartphone. But that would be kind of sad. So <laughs> probably not. All right, I got him. He's responding. Yes. All right, let me let me get him in the call. People are saying now Sale should play against Dragon. <laughs> Dude, no, I, oh. I I don't want to embarrass him, man. Like you know, the winner should should. Oh God, I messed up my Skype thing. Um. Oh wait, wait. Oh. I can only get half of you. Oh. Oh wait, maybe maybe if Dragon has video, this means I can get both of you. Yeah. Hello, can you hear me? Hey, what's up, dude? 
Hey, congratulations, okay. Dragon. I don't have a video though. Just That's okay. Know. Wait, do you, do you do you have a webcam? Do you wanna do you wanna be on video? No, I just, I'm, what I'm saying, I don't have a webcam. Oh, okay, that's all right. In that case, I will, I will need to fix my, my screen with cat's paw. All right, wait, oh, uh. okay, we are good. All right. Anyway, congratulations, man. You're the, you're the champion. Thank you. Yeah. How do you feel? Eight hundred bucks, dude. It's awesome. Well, I felt pretty awesome yesterday. <laughs> oh, that's true. <laughs> Nice. It's today it doesn't matter. You're thinking about the next challenge. <laughs> Dude, are you, have you have you gone out celebrating already? Last night, yeah, I spent it all. Nice, nice. Okay, so anyway, so so going going to the games. All right, game number one, you got proxy gated. Now apparently, draw told you this would happen. Is this true? Uh, we were yeah, we we're talking strategy the night before, and he said to Sakura we would probably. What, maybe like 50-50 chance he would do that? 50-50. Oh, that's not what Draw was saying. Draw was saying he definitely was going to do that. Draw, Draw, I'm well, calling you out. All the possibilities. I wasn't really thinking about it. I, I didn't think this Akira would do it. I think he just played standard because we actually practiced on it um, earlier in the tournament, and I didn't do very well against it. I actually lost to him, so I thought he just played standard. But I guess he doesn't like the map. Hmm. Did you did you think you were losing though at, at that any point in the game? Because like that game yeah, seems super I, back and forth. I was definitely not doing good at the start. I uh like when I scouted his his naturals, I knew it was a proxy gate, but then I decided to not cancel my uh, natural hatchery because I thought I was in the back, so it would be fine. But yeah, that was that was a pretty big mistake by me because then I only had one hatchery for like ten minutes. Hmm. Actually, actually. Okay. Okay, go ahead. Let me let me jump in the sale for a second. Yeah. What did you think when you lost the pool? Because that's when I saw the thought. Okay, now that's a hard moment. Actually, I don't think the pool was that big of a deal because at that point I think I was just I was breaking his natural cannons, and once he was contained to one base and I had like a bunch of speed links, I think that was uh, the more important issue than losing the pool. Like I I, re I rebuilt it pretty fast. I didn't need to pump links at that point because I was going into drone production. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. But I mean, it is something I had to spend money on, and I only had six drones or something, so it, it does hurt a bit. As a more general point, um, why do you build the natural hatchery at the mineral only and not the actual natural? I see Korean players do this too, but I never understand why this is. Um, that's uh, actually two reasons. One was I had a specific build plan for electric, and that involves uh, putting a hydrolyst den back there so we couldn't see it. Uh... Um, but I, unfortunately, I didn't get to use that build. Oh, and man. the other reason is just because it's easier to get the hatchery up against pro blocks and stuff. Right, right. Damn, I actually really wish we got to see what your actual build was then on that map. On that yeah, map. it was pretty sick. Oh, <laughs> uh, all right. We need we need a rematch, a show match. Are are people like already setting up like random mat like uh, money matches in the in the thread? For oh yeah, team right. I'm, I think I accepted uh, Nemu's challenge. Ah. 500 euros or something. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice. Yeah, so if he's still around, I'll, I'll play him. That'll be fun. Okay. Um, okay, okay, now now on to the biggest question. How do you feel about Arbiters in PvZ? <laughs> oh, man. I actually thought they were imbalanced at first when I started playing against them, because I, huh. I would be going to late game and I'd be feeling good, and then I'd just lose to a bunch of recalls. And that happened to me a lot, and I was pretty nervous going up against it. But after playing today, I think they're they're okay. I mean, I think they're fairly legit strat, but maybe the way to stop using them today wasn't optimal. Like, yeah. I think his unit composition could have been better in the recalls themselves. Like, he recalled a lot of Dragoons sometimes, and I think <laughs> it might be better to recall Archons and Templars and stuff like that. Cat's so, Paw said exactly the same thing. <laughs> So that's uh, that's nice. That's actually really interesting as well that you that you say you know you're losing a lot to it in, in practice because that's pretty much what we saw against True Touch, right? Where the recall just completely destroyed him, um, like yeah. especially on Aztec. Uh, yeah, if you're not prepared for it, especially if you have uh, one of those natural setups where you completely wall yourself in, it's just you instant die. Yeah. Interesting. Huh. So, 
Yeah, yeah I had to make sure that I didn't wall myself out in those games. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense, actually. <laughs> um, and then the final game, the the sneaky Hydra drop, dude. <laughs> yeah, I didn't like that map. I don't like Overwatch. I played a uh, draw a few times on the map, and I think I only won like one of them, because, like, my style is usually just to get the late game. Yeah. Uh, eat like, at an advantage or even, but once you do that. I mean, Protoss can just do that too, and then you can't do anything. It's like just really hard to take bases or or kill bases or have any kind of map control when you can only have five bases at max. Hmm. Like, cause you can't even take the mineral only. Um, well, you can take one, I guess, but uh, you can't take two middle bases like you can on a funny sphere. You can take the middle base yeah, and yeah. kind of make up for the split map scenario. But on uh, on Overwatch, uh, Protoss can control one min mineral only really easily with the clip over it, and you can't mine there. So I decided that cheesing was the best option. <laughs> nice. Uh, I also wanted to ask one thing about, uh, because when the Sakura was playing on Fighting Spirit, he actually started to doing some drops, you know, on, on your uh, fourth, I think it was, first with DTs, then with four Zealots, and he kept doing some kind of harassment while uh, getting some expansions himself. Do you think that that changed a lot of the game? Because in other games, he just seemed to be constantly trying to put pressure with the main army. Sorry, say that again. I missed that the last part. Uh, that if, if that's a big difference, like for you when you're playing as Zerg, because then on the other games it seemed like he wasn't really harassing too much, and uh, it looked like you had a much firmer grasp when you know he was just moving basically with the main army instead of trying to harass and expand. Um, I think he did. He did uh, Dark Temple drops in a couple of the other games, which were fairly effective. I, I knew he would do that kind of style. He would Dark Temple drop, but um, on in the fourth game, um, he did delay my fourth uh, hatchery, my, my fourth base, quite a bit. Hmm. But they weren't like game changing damage. I was actually pretty confused after the game because I thought I was really far ahead uh, through most of the early game and then I ended up losing after I had like been even or behind the other games and ended up winning. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of weird. yeah. So I think the uh, the thing that game was like the software took a lot of uh, better engagements that game because uh, he kept denying my fourth or my fifth and sixth bases and I kept putting like a couple lurkers there and a bunch of lings and they just died. Hmm. And instead of defending it, I would go and counter, but he would clean up my counter attacks really well. So he played a lot better um, engagement wise that game. I think that's probably what lost me in the game. I didn't get my extra bases up for such a long time that I was almost mined out. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you guys were both uh, fairly low ego for a while there uh, yeah. in the late game, but uh, yeah, good stuff. All right, I'm gonna, I got a couple questions from the chat. All right. Um, uh, Foxhan asks, uh, which of the matches was the hardest in the entire tournament, not just uh, against the Sakwe? If you remember any particular game. Uh, well, I'd have to say the one I lost against the Sakwe. <laughs> um, I mean, I don't know. If you consider the one I lost against Koga, that was hard because uh, yeah. it was really unexpected and I, I tilted yeah. and wasted a whole bunch of pros for no reason. That was the bunker rush, right? Yeah, like I, <laughs> I'm used to when parents do that. I'm used to it being uh, BBS with two mm. darks. Yeah, and so you need to pull pros with that, and send out the zealot right away. But this was actually a, like a, a different style. It's just a bunker, and I ended up losing when I, I think I should have won that one easily. Hmm. Interesting. But I don't know. I mean, it was over really, really quickly. It didn't right. require much effort to win or lose. <laughs> um, Blair Music asks, what are you going to do with the $800? Uh, not much right now. I might like treat my friends or something. Brag, brag about my win a little bit. Are you going <laughs> to treat Draw for, for telling you there was going to be proxy dates? <laughs> um, <laughs> I think I could have figured that out on my own. <laughs> but... Apparently, a uh, cute pain wants me to send him a pizza for like playing one game against him. 
Every practice partner gets a pizza. That sounds like a pretty sweet deal. <laughs> yeah. Let me have my winnings going. <laughs> it's I only half, it. man. You still got 400. You can, uh, yeah. Well, what's the difference between first and second? It's true. But, but and think about it this way. Uh, Desakwe is going to have nothing left over after he buys his practice partner's pizza. That is true. Well, you gotta spread the world, man. Although I guess I guess since he lost, maybe maybe he doesn't have to buy the pizza. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, All right. Practice. All right. I got a last question from the chat. Um, K H my guy eighty eight asks uh, if you were to be interested in a show match, um, who would you like to play against and why? Uh, I want to play against Nemo because he's giving me 500 euros. Because you are playing that match. <laughs> I, I was just going to say, I was like, that you're actually already playing a match. Wait, it's a bet match though, right? Like, do you have to pay him if you lose? Yeah, I think we both put in 500. And oh man, that's hardcore. There, that's your win. <laughs> you're going to be playing against Nemo. Is All it? that so much. Is, it's against Nemo or is it against another player? Nice like against, if he accepts, like he proposed the winner of the, the uh, TLS championship to uh, play yeah, against yeah, yeah. Him in a best of five, or I think it was best yeah, five. Yeah, I think so, yeah. Oh. yeah. So because like, okay. Nemo has very crazy th builds. Like he won against Castro by basically going one base mass zealots, I think. So <laughs> it's going to be kind of tricky. Oh man, you guys have to have a strategy session. Dude, Catspot, you could get a pizza from him if he wins. <laughs> <laughs> be amazing. All right. Well, uh, looks like that is all for our chat questions. And uh, I don't know, Cat's probably got any more questions? Uh, no, because uh, that's it. All right. Well, uh, thanks very much for joining us, dude. And a huge congrats again, man. Very yeah, well done. Can I, uh, can I give a shout out? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. As many shout outs as you'd like. All right. Shout out to uh, Sugo Payne because. I said I would. <laughs> nice. There nice. you go, man. And also, shout out to all my other practice partners. Uh, I draw practice with me a lot this past week. Um, yeah, and uh, I also played a lot against Body earlier in the tournament because we both had uh, the same race opponents, kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And yeah, pretty much everybody who's played against me, thank you. Preparing, helping me test maps and shit at last minute. Thank you all. Oh, I thought Shout I thought out of one to, more uh, question. Team Canada for being awesome, plus a couple American players. <laughs> <laughs> nice. The American players are the afterthought. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think that's it. All right, nice. Uh, one more quick question. Oh yeah. Uh, who did you think was actually going to win the whole thing, like besides yourself? Uh... Well, I would have said True Touch in the case that he wasn't playing a ton of StarCraft 2. <laughs> um, yep. Knowing that, though, I would have said uh, either Dewalt or Ian Zerg, whoever won that match huh. between them. Hmm. But I was completely wrong. <laughs> <laughs> in a good way. In a good way. Yeah. I mean, it worked out well for me. I would have had more trouble against uh, Ian Zerg or Dewalt, I think. All right. Hmm. Thank you very much for uh, for the interview and congratulations, dude. Thank you. All right. See you. Uh, see you in the next tournament, whatever that may be. Apparently, there's Nation Wars going on or something. Yeah, it's uh, it's next week. Oh, nice, nice. Uh, are you gonna play in that? <laughs> for sure. Yeah, hey. I'm a leader, man. I can't not play. Oh, all right. Yeah, I, all I, right. Could just, I could just send all my minions to play for me, but. All right, TLS so champion. Nice. Going to be tearing up Nation more starting next week, guys. You, you guys should all tune in. Wherever that's being streamed, I'm not actually sure. But, oh, right. uh, um, oh. I also want to shout out Russ Brain for sponsoring the tournament. Can't forget that. Thank you, dude, for putting money in my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> Nicely done. Nicely done. All right. Uh, we will catch you later then, Dragon. All right. See you later, man. See you Thanks guys. for the interview. Bye. All right. And uh, yeah, with that, we are all done with the TLS Championship after, <laughs> after four awesome months of Brood War. Uh, I hope you guys all enjoy the tournament. Again, a huge thanks to Russ Brain from us. For
for helping sponsor this. Huge thanks to Team Liquid and all the admins for uh, for running the tournament. And uh, oh, and Catspaw is huge. All right, there we go. We fixed. We thanks, fixed. Man. Caspar, thank you for being my co-caster. Yeah, thank you too, man. It was awesome. Great times. All right. I hope you guys all enjoy the tournament. But with that, we are signing out now for the last time. Have a good night. See you.